Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Jackie. I hope you hit that subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Today's video I'm going to be sharing my 28th birthday get ready with me. I've done this for four years in a row now. I started on my 25th birthday and ever since then I've done a birthday get ready with me. So this is this year's edition. Of course it's hot pink. I think the only one that wasn't hot pink themed was the first one my 25th birthday. So yeah this is the makeup that I did. My hair. I'm still wearing my birthday pajamas because it's comfy and I don't want to wear my birthday dress all day because it is very extravagant which you'll see later I inserted a clip of me in my birthday dress I will be linking all my birthday get ready with me's down below if you want to check them out there will be a playlist and you can watch all of them with me see if I got better doing my makeup every year I think I have so without further ado I'm just going to be sharing with you this makeup look so let's get started I'm starting off with the elf poreless Pie primer I'm using the applicator that it's recommended to be used with so I'm taking that sign and I'm putting it on my face and then rubbing it in with my hands instead of the brush I like my hands better it warms up the product and like sets into my pores so I really want those to be covered and since I'm discovering this product it's been so good I love it so much and I'm so happy with the results so once that's all smoothed over I'm taking another primer which is the NYX Mar marshmallow primer. I love the scent of this. I'm using my hands again and just rubbing it into my t-zone and where I have very like extremely large pores. So rubbing that in so it all blends out on my face and it looks pretty flawless. Now we move on to foundation. I'm taking the Milani foundation in natural beige and this is the first time a foundation has matched me perfectly. Like the color is flawless on me. I think this is the first time I've ever color matched correctly so I'm using the elf total face sponge to blend it all out and this just has fantastic coverage I love it I'm so impressed with it this is the third time I think I'm using this and every time I use it I'm blown away by this foundation I'm just patting it in to my skin and tapping it in to all the crevices and it's just so nice I love this foundation so much I think I found my new holy grail foundation so I was meant to do this step before I put foundation but I got too excited so this is the Milani under eye tint and I love it it disguises my under eye circles and just hides the darkness so it's kind of like a concealer or a prep for concealer so I'm just using my ring finger to blend that underneath my eyes and then after that step I go in with my actual concealer so I'm using the wet n wild incognito concealer and I've done it a little bit differently according to TikTok I've been doing my concealer wrong so I did it the TikTok way and I'm just blending it in so I used two sponges the total face sponge and then the camo concealer sponge this is more little so it gets in there and blends everything out flawlessly and I think it does a good job hiding my under eye circles and I finally discovered a way to get rid of them so that is really nice then I'm going in with the wet and wild contour palette so I'm taking the banana shade or the lighter shade and using that to set my under eyes so this is a really nice finely milled powder I love it so much I've been using it a lot more recently but I used the Halo Glow Setting Powder, I think, by e.l.f. as well on top of it to give it a more glowy uh, finish. So I like using those two powders. Then back in with the Wet n Wild Contour Palette, I'm using the shade uh, Dolce de Leche and it's so pretty. I love this. I didn't cream contour this year I'm just using this powder at least I'm using a different powder and my real techniques brush and I'm just blending it in doing the fishy face like I always do and then this year what I did differently I contoured my nose a little better I've been practicing it so I did a little bit of nose contouring and then I blended it all together with the sponge moving on to blush I'm using the elf putty blush in Bora Bora it is such a pretty shade so I'm just using my fingers to apply 
like this because why not? I like warming it up on my skin and just tapping that in. But I'm also going to put a powder blush on top. I'm using this one by Makeup Revolution in the shade Pink Lady with a blush brush. Then I'm going to go in with a liquid highlight. So just adding three dots of that onto my wing finger and then blending it out. And then I'm applying it to the high points of my face and making sure it all blends in nicely. Now we're moving on to brows. I'm using a different brow pencil this year. I'm taking the Morphe Brow Pencil in Cold Brew. I love this shade. It is really nice. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows and drawing them in. So pretty much my same brow routine. But I added a few different steps this year, which is really good. So I'm brushing them out so they stick a little bit more up words and has that like feathery brow effect that's really popular and then I'm taking the NYX lift and snatch eyebrow tint and I'm just filling in the sparse areas that I have and then I'm taking the wet and wild brow obsessive brow gel and brushing up my brows to set everything in place so they stay up all day and look pretty and nice and I love how my eyebrows turned out this year. Now I'm going to powder my face with a big face brush and I'm just tapping that in and then I'm using the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I've been loving this one and then just using my sponge to dab everything in. Now we're zooming in onto the eyes. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Eye Prime Setter and just using my ring finger to blend that into my eyelid. So doing that on both sides and then we are going to set them. I've never done this step before but this year is different. So I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Affinity palette and I'm taking the shade and it just matches the eyeshadow primer and I'm just dusting that all over the lid. Then I'm taking the Colourpop Cloud Spin palette and I'm just taking a large fluffy blush and I'm just gonna dab that all over my eye and blend it outwards. So it's more of a hot pink look this year. I've noticed in the past of my birthday get ready with me, so I've done a little bit more brown smoky eye hot pink. This year is full on hot pink smoky eye and I love that. I love the hot pink that I've chosen to use this year and I'm just using this eyeshadow brush and just swirling it onto my eyelid and making sure it's blended evenly. Then I'm taking the Colourpop Ooh La La palette and this smoky eye brush from Essence and I'm just adding this lighter hot pink shade on top of the other hot pink shade to transition them together so they blend seamlessly. So I'm just using that to blend them together. Then we have the concealer that I'm using and I'm going to do a cut crease almost so hopefully I'm doing this correctly. This is the first time I'm doing something like this so I'm just dabbing it onto my eyelid and then I'm taking the Colourpop 143 palette. It was part of their Valentine's Day collection and I'm taking this hot pink glitter shade and dabbing it into the center where I did the concealer to kind of do the cut crease look. I'm not sure if I succeeded with this. This was my first time trying it but either way I like how it turned out and then I'm just taking the fluffy brush again and just blending everything together so they look nice there's no harsh lines I've been getting pretty good at blending everything together so it looks flawless so I'm really happy about that and I'm really getting good at like this windshield wiper motion to blend everything together so that's great and then we're taking the Maybelline liquid liner I failed with my liquid liner I feel like this year. I was getting better at it but I haven't worn liquid liner since my last birthday I believe. So I tried my best in doing a flick. I think I succeeded but I'm just taking another shadow from the Colourpop palette and putting it underneath my eye with a very small brush and yeah. Now we're moving on to the inner corner highlight. So I'm taking this shade, it really pops. I'm putting it on the highlight of my brow bone too. Then we're taking the Big Papa Mascara from Wet n Wild. Love this stuff. I'm just doing one coat of it because we are going to put on some lashes because it's a special occasion. Why not use some lashes? So that is great. I'm just taking the Kiss Liner Glue. This has been a godsend. I love this product so much. Highly recommend it. It makes putting on eyelashes a lot easier. Even 
even though it looks like I'm struggling, it was a lot easier than what I was previously doing when I applied my lashes. So just putting a pretty thick layer and then setting the lash on top. The Dollar Tree lashes aren't that bad. I feel like they did pretty good. Then I'm smoking out the under eye part of my lash line so it all blends together. Then we're taking some more mascara on the bottom lashes so everything blends in nicely. Now that we're done with the eyes, I'm going to use a highlight and I think this is the best highlighter I've ever used. It is by Wet n Wild in the shade I'm So Lit. It's a loose highlighter but it just looks so pretty like you're a glazed donut. I love it so much. Like just look at that blinding glow. Highly recommend this. Using the sponge to blend it in. Then we're doing lips now and then this is the NYX um, liquid shine I believe it's called in the shade lead everything you put this color on first and then you wait for it to dry and then after that you're taking the like a lip gloss side and I went with a glossy hot pink lip usually I go for a matte NYX liquid lipstick but this year it was matte then we're taking more setting spray letting that dry off tapping it in so everything looks flawless there you have it 28th birthday makeup now that my makeup's all done let's do my hair now that my hair is all curled i can share with you my outfit i'm just gonna insert the clip now because i'm not gonna put it on yet it's too difficult to get on so here is my birthday outfit okay here's the completed outfit i have my matching face mask my bag put my shoes on and this is what i'm wearing to my birthday dinner and there you have it that was my makeup my hair and the outfit that i wore on my 28th birthday i hope you enjoyed my annual birthday get ready with me i'm in love with this look i think it's so cute of course i had to do the hot pink it's my favorite color and i just feel so pretty i will link everything that i used down below in the description all the product names all that fun stuff as well as my fashion blog which is fashionxfairytale.com also you can follow me on instagram as well as tiktok and there you have it that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching it please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you in my next video bye everyone